Hello, and thanks for joining us for the December edition of our Markets at a Glance update. Investors were once again focused closely on the COVID-19 pandemic in December. Toward the end of the month, new daily cases in the U.S. reached an all-time high as the rapidly spreading Omicron variant made its way for the population. However, reports also suggested that Omicron results in less severe symptoms. This helped ease investor concerns, and major stock market indexes ended December with gains. In fact, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, S&P 500, and Nasdaq Composite all reported record high closes during the month. U.S. hiring, as reported by the Labor Department, slowed in December with only 199,000 new jobs reported. This is well below expectations of 422,000 and the lowest monthly increase in 2021. The unemployment rate, however, decreased to 3.9%, a new pandemic low. Investors also reacted to the latest news on central bank policy. In Europe, the European Central Bank kept interest rates unchanged, but announced that it would slow the pace of its asset buying program. The Bank of England surprised investors by raising its target interest rate from 0.1% to 0.25%. In the U.S., the Federal Reserve announced an accelerated reduction of its asset purchases, but kept interest rates unchanged. Nevertheless, new Fed projections showed that officials expect to raise interest rates three times in 2022. Let's take a closer look at this in our chart of the month. Here we illustrate the median projections for future levels of interest rates made by Federal Open Market Committee members. As you can see, member projections rose significantly in the second half of 2021 amid rising inflation. By raising rates, the Fed will seek to decrease consumer demand by making it more expensive to borrow for items such as a home or a car. Lower demand, in theory, would slow economic growth and alleviate inflation. To read more about this news and to see how it affected our fund performance for December, please check out our latest monthly investment report.